everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you a waterproof summer makeup tutorial. And I decided to make it waterproof because obviously you're going to be sweating and like in the pool, ocean, the beach, and you don't want to be worrying about like having your makeup like sweat off your face, so why not make it waterproof? So it is super simple, really easy, and basically almost all the products are from the drugstore, which is always amazing. Um, so anyways, let's get into it. So first, I'm going to be working with the brows. I'm actually not going to be putting much on my face. I think I'm, yeah, I'm only going to be putting on a blush. I'm not going to be using like concealer or foundation or BB cream or whatever um, because I feel like it's just going to melt off your face or wash off your face anyway. So what's really the point? If you really, um, really, really want coverage um, over the summer, then I'd probably look into a waterproof concealer. I know Maybelline um, has a stick concealer that's waterproof if you want like cover blemishes or anything like that. Um, but that's totally up to you. But personally, I don't think I need, the, I mean... I don't want the coverage. I don't really like find the need to um, have more coverage. So I'm cool with what I have here. So anyways, um, starting with the brows, as I said before, I'm going to be using the Sephora Transparent Brow Gel, which is waterproof, and just applying this into my brows and blending it out with my finger. And this is just gonna hold your brows in place. It kind of feels weird. It kind of, you got to get used to like the feeling because it kind of feels like your brows are like hairsprayed, but it honestly looks a million times better than like having your eyebrow hairs like all over the place and like sticking up and it just makes you look like a lot more put together and it's just, it looks like your eyebrows were like kind of just waxed and it, I don't know. I think it looks a lot better and like complete, your look kind of looks more complete. Anyways. Uh, let's move on to eyeshadow. We are going to be working with my lovely Maybelline color tattoos. We are going to be starting with um, this one called Barely Branded and it is this really really pretty champagne color and we are going to be applying this all over the lid just like so and popping that in your inner corner as well. It's just a really nice wash of color all over the lid and I love it. They're super, super smooth and blendable, and I just love them. And they're waterproof too, so that is amazing, especially for summer. This is just gonna be my go-to eye look like the whole summer, because I just love these things. Um, yeah, I just, they're the bomb. Bomb.com. <laughs> so anyways, um, so we applied that. And I'm actually so happy that this metal collection is not limited edition because I don't know what I would do without this base. I love it. So, I love it. I love it. If you guys don't know that song, I don't know where you've been. Like, but what's the name of that? Like, the, it's like two girls. They're from Britain, the UK. Like, oh, you know the song. Like, I love it. I love it. Oh, I don't even know what the, the, um, the little band that makes it called. It makes it, makes the song is called. I don't know what the group is called. Ugh, it's like Ithaca? No, that's definitely wrong. I don't know. Anyways, back to the tutorial. I'm totally going off topic. Anyways, using Bad to the Bronze, I'm going to be taking a little bit on my finger and applying this a little bit to my crease. I'm going to be going up a little bit and into my crease like so. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be taking a blending brush really really soon and just gonna make everything look a lot more smoother so we're just kind of applying this pretty messily right now okay so now as I just said taking your blending brush mine is from eco tools I am going to be just blending so we don't have messy color tattoo lines in our crease and so everything's just a lot more smooth and just blends together really nicely like so just swiping it back and forth working the two shadows in to each other like so okay now, whoa i just like rattled all my brushes there um so now that is it for eyeshadow we are going to be taking um, now the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Colgajol. 
eyeliner in 005 nude and just applying this to the waterline this is like my favorite eyeliner right now it just brightens up the eyes so much and it's like perfect for summer because it looks so natural so i love it it makes your i said it i love it again i love it oh, that should be just like my theme song from now on my life theme song no i'm kidding um but I do really like this conce concealer, of course, um, eyeliner because I just think it makes your eyes look like a thousand times bigger and I just, I uh, love it. Of course I said I love it again. Whatever. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm going to be taking my Revlon Eyelash Curler and curling them lashes. Oh, why are my eyelashes like not cooperating today? Like I tried curling them this morning and they just like wouldn't do it, so really frustrating so curling one eye I'm going to be taking my new Maybelline one by one volume express waterproof um, mascara in blackest black and thank you for uh, like the I think there was like two commenters commenters there are two people who commented on like one of my previous videos to get this mascara and thank you for that because I love this mascara. It just separates my lashes so much. I don't know if I like, because I got two mascaras. Um, the last time I was at the drugstore, I got the Rocket, Maybelline and the Rocket. And I really like that mascara, like a lot. And I really like this one too, but I do wear the, the Rocket more because I don't like taking off waterproof mascara. I don't know who does, but I feel like I'm... I like lose 5 million eyelashes when I wear a waterproof mascara. The Rocket actually isn't that easy to take off either, but it's easier than this one because it is waterproof. Um, but I just, I hate losing eyelashes. I don't think anybody really does like losing eyelashes, but it just, it makes me feel so sad. I feel like I'm gonna like have no eyelashes left. Um, but I just, I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with that, but I do like both mascaras. I don't know which one I like more though. There you go. <laughs> so now taking my Maybelline Dream, oh my gosh, I've used like a million Maybelline products. If you can't tell, I love Maybelline. I love the brand. I have so many Maybelline products. It's actually really ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, taking um, this Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in 10 Pink Frosting, just taking some on my finger, I'm just kind of dabbing my finger and kind of rubbing it on my cheeks it's kind of hard to apply I don't know I did use my elf uh, small stippling brush but I feel like that applies it too heavily and I just I don't know I haven't like mastered the technique for putting this on yet if you guys have um, one of the dream bouncy blushes then definitely let me know how you apply it in the comments because I just have not mastered my technique um, and I know I'm going to be wearing this a lot this summer, so if I could, like, learn how to actually apply it, like, well, then that would be good. Um, so anyways, just, like, sheerly applying this onto my cheeks, because if I do a heavy application, I mean, nobody really wants a heavy application of blush, but it looks really, really weird. Because it's, like, it's kind of a darker pink than what I would usually go for. I don't even know how to describe it, to be honest. It's, like... Uh, it's like kind of almost purple tinted. It's definitely a cool tone blush, and I don't know. I'm more of a corally blush girl, to be honest, because that made sense. I'm a corally blush girl. Um, yeah, so I just like kind of go towards corally blushes versus like pink, pink blushes like this. Um, but this is like the only clean, clean, cream blush I have. Um, so I just decided to add it in this tutorial, and I know I probably will be using this a lot this summer. So on to lips. I have my L'Oreal Color Riche The Balm. No, it's not The Balm. It's just Color Riche Balm um, in Caring Coral. And this has SPF of 15, I believe. I don't know if it shows that on the packaging. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know it has SPF, but I'm pretty sure it's either 15 or 30. But anyways, SPF is always really good um, for your lips. It doesn't really have like the pigmentation you would think it has um it's kind of disappointing to be honest you can barely even see it on my hand but it has a really really nice feel on the lips it's just like i don't know i just really really like it it just has this really nice smooth moisturizing feel on the lips it's amazing 
it's like a chapstick except better I just I love how moisturizing it is so anyways this is the completed look I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time bye